work energy theorem develop the notations of work and kinetic energy and show that it leads to work energy theorem this question carries 8 marks in junior intermediate which belongs to work power energy lesson so first we have to write the definition of work the dot product of force and displacement is called work so work w is equal to f bar dot s bar so w is equal to fs cos theta we know this is dot product okay here we have to examine certain cases for first case if uh, theta is equal to 0 then if i put 0 here then the answer will be fs because cos 0 is equal to 1 if uh, theta is equal to 90 degrees then w is equal to fs cos 90 which gives 0 because cos 90 degrees is 0 so 0 multiplies with fs then the resultant will be 0 third case if theta is equal to 180 degrees then w is equal to fs cos 180 degrees this will be minus fs because cos 180 is minus 1 so multiply this minus 1 with fs this fs becomes minus fs now the next definition kinetic energy the definition of kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body by virtue of its motion so ke is equal to half mv square this is the formula of kinetic energy now about uh, work energy theorem the work done is equal to change in its kinetic energy so the work done by a body is equal to change in its kinetic energy that means the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so the work done w is equal to half mv square minus half m u square for this let a body of mass m moving with initial velocity u be acted on by a force f on its final velocity is v so let us suppose a body of mass m moving with uh, an initial velocity u then uh, uh, force is applied on this body then uh, the velocity changes from u to v the distance covered by the body is uh, s now we have to find uh, the work done at this particular situation so work done work done w is equal to we know f into s because we can write fs cos theta but uh, the force and displacement angle is zero then the answer will be fs according to newton's second law f is equal to ma this is equation number one this is equation number two now put equation two in equation one put equation two in equation one we get w is equal to write ma s as it is then this is equation number three now we have to find a find the value of a for that use the galileo's equation v square minus u square is equal to 2a s so from this equation because there is an initial velocity and final velocity displacement is there we have to find acceleration but there is no time that's why I choose this formula. So from this equation, we can find A is equal to 
v square minus u square by 2s. This is equation number 4. Now put equation 4 in equation 3. We get now put this equation in this equation w is equal to m at the position of a we can write v square minus u square by 2s into s this s and s gets cancelled then the answer will be m into v square minus u square by 2 if we separate this mv square minus mu square by 2 now we can write it that is equal to half m v square minus half m u square we can write like this or otherwise we can stop at this position but uh, we can write w is equal to half the mass is common v square minus u square this is called work energy theorem or we can write final that means work is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so the work energy theorem is proved so the weightage of this question is around six marks the total marks is eight marks so six marks for this answer plus two marks goes to problem okay it is very very important question okay thank you